From the time that Kyle comes back, he is, there are remnants of the guy that she married. There is a scene when Riley comes to jail. She's flustered and she really just needs to talk to him. What's going on? Perrin and our kids. You feel like helping? Yes. She finally decides, you know what, I need him to help me uh, parent. And they have to make a decision about whether or not to let their little girl be in a pageant. Mom has got Katie all hyped up about being in this mother-daughter beauty pageant. She's starting in on that. Yes, yeah, she is, and I don't think it's a good idea. Up until that point, all of their interactions when Riley visits have been uh, been very tense, been very matter of fact. Last year, Katie was into mud pies and toy horses. All right, I'd be willing to bet she'll get sick of it and move on to the next thing. You know, people said the same thing about me, and 12 years later, I was Miss Beaumont and pregnant. In that relationship, it, ta it takes a big turn because she's coming to him as a parent, not just some bad guy. It wasn't pageants that got you pregnant. No, I guess. When too many nights in the back here, Chevy did that. <laughs> There's this moment where they remember him being sort of attracted to the young girl in the back of his truck in a tiara and her sort of loving that sexy football guy. I just, I couldn't resist that crown. Well, you know, I mean, that's natural. Yeah. yeah. It shows that there's been a history with these people, and at one time, they were very much in love. <laughs> it's the first time that they've laughed in a long time. There was a lot of goodness there. I think to get a little little glimpse of that is, I think, going to be interesting and nice for the audience to see.